The game is Halls of Torment, and in this episode, I'm going to be doing the Warlock that I unlocked in the previous episode. Excuse me, squeaky mic, readjusting it to my face. Um, yeah, so the Warlock, if you watched my previous videos, and specifically my previous one for the Warlock, I found a chess piece that really went well with the Warlock and covered his weakness. And I farmed a little bit, and I got lucky, and there it is, the blood-soaked shirt. So, I'm now going to, my next goal is I need to kill, uh, what's that zone called? I keep forgetting what the maps are called. I need to kill 10,000 mobs in one running on the viaduct to unlock the sword. So that's what I'm working on now. Now, I may not accomplish that in this video. I may need to farm a little bit more and get my shrines and blessings up. Maybe get new gear that I don't even know about. But um, here's my loadout. So I'm going with attack speed on the helmet. I got uh, imp summon rings. So I got little imps that'll fight for me. I got little necromancers that'll fight for me. Some some slippers that give me some block. The blood soaked shirt. It's going to keep me healed up. This necklace doesn't really match the build because I'm going to have spent a lot of time full health. But it's a good necklace. So as you lose health... You do more damage. That's great on the Barbarian and the, um, the Shield Maiden, by the way. But I don't really have a lot of necklaces. My other necklace is 10% move speed. All right. So, um, and then, yeah, my gloves are quickness or attack speed. And I don't have a lot of good options on my gloves. It's either uh, a flame build gloves or 80% pickup range, which isn't bad. But the way I look at it is pickup range is what? 40%? each time so that's two two level ups and to get 20 attack speed is usually six percent so you know you're looking at four levels up four levels up or three point something level ups before it equals to that glove so to me the gloves are more valuable anyway that's my build but i wanted to show you this other loadout this is a fire build i was working on now i think this is going to be interesting later so basically, I take my imp ring off because the skeletons were actually doing more, a little bit more damage than the imps. And I put the transforms your main weapon into fire and has a 15% burn chance. And then you can get some burn chance percent in, uh, in your, um, what's it called? Shrine of Blessing. Every game has its own word for things. Um... And then I put this on where every, I get 4% damage for each thing burning, and I easily get close to 60%, if not 60% additional damage. And then you can throw this on, these gloves, which I, I really haven't even ever seen this work, so I don't know if they're any good, but, you know, it's fire, 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 basically. And that turns your little ghosts that you shoot out. They light things on fire, you get more damage, and then it's like your golems and your skeletons uh, hit them, they throw sparks out. So this looks like potentially a really good fire summoner build. But for now, I want to keep it simple. I'm going to just use my two summons, and I'm going to go for attack speed to pump. My whole goal is to pump the, um, the specters that come out of me, out of the warlock, because they're very powerful. Actually, to the point where they're so powerful, I don't want any other abilities. Because if I get other abilities, they're adding a little bit of damage. But nowhere near compared to what the damage will be if I pump just my main abilities. And my support abilities will be my two little skeletons. They're going to help me out. So that's my idea for this. Um, and I'm going to run it through the harder map, see how far I get. I may not get that 10,000 gold to unlock the Sork. I don't know. Um, and then I also refunded, I wish they had builds for this, by the way. They should, they should have the same that they have for here, by the way. These loadouts for your gear, they should have loadouts for each character in here. You should have loadouts down here, up here, along someplace. Where I could go, okay, fire build loadout, whatever. Because basically you just got to refund it and repurchase everything. So what I did here, I just had some extra money, that's why I put that in here. But I did two in damage, two in defense, three in duration. I don't need fire damage because this isn't the fire damage build. I had extra money, so I did gold. Lots of health regen. To I pumped that up because that's the weakness of the uh, warlock. I want to call it the necromancer. Health capacity pumped up. Movement speed just because, again, he has low defense. So movement speed, a.k.a. avoidance, is his defense. Um, he actually doesn't have bad defensive uh, choices, 
he just starts out very low and it takes a lot of leveling up you got to pump a lot into that defense to get it useful some pickup range for convenience uh, especially pickup range is important for this guy because his summons fly all over the place he's not hitting things and killing things close to him like a melee character he's hitting things far away so pickup range helps attack rate I think it just had extra coins again it was like 600 I don't think I don't think this does anything for his minions and then all I could afford is one revive that's my build that's where I'm at still pretty newbie unlocking some of the classes here Loving the Warlock. I love all these clay. I'll, uh, eventually, I'll do a review of them. I think. Really run out of time on these games. I just need one more herb, and then I can start collecting bottles, too. Right now, gear is more important to me. So let's do it. Let's go into the Viaduct, which is the hardest map I have unlocked right now, and see how long I can last. Now, I'm going to not. I'm gonna purposefully not pick up any skills. I would love to have the Golem, just because, you know, to go along with the... It's the well right there. Look, the well's right there. I'll just hang out down here. I think I'm going to go south. Let me turn this down a little bit. Auto attack. So I don't have to get attack while I'm doing this. I'm just going to go down away from that pick up all thing. And I'll grab that later. And I'm just going to... I think right here probably should be far enough away where I won't accidentally pick that up. And I'm just going to kind of like try to focus on leveling up. I don't need to travel anywhere because I don't want any other abilities. Now I'm going to take it off auto attack because, let's see. It's the reason why I don't want other abilities because they'll start filling up your choices in here. Look, I got a lot of good choices here. But if I had abilities, I don't want to level those abilities really. They're just kind of there. They're just kind of there to give me some additional blah, blah, blah. You know? But what good is that if they're blocking you from building your build the way you want? So, right here I'm going to go with, uh, so duration is good, but... What does that really get you in the end? I don't know how much you can equate 8% duration. Is that 8% more damage? So I might go pick up radius. These are the two I would choose from. So I think I'm just going to go pick up radius to help me level while I'm slow. Now I want to you want to control these because you want to shoot them. They're going to kind of combo. So you want to like, when you're using this guy, you kind of want to like shoot these things in into a row. Now attack speed is definitely a must. I think I'm going to take that over movement speed right now. So right now my choices are attack or movement. I want to be faster. That's my avoidance. I need to be faster. I'm going to die. But with that thing healing me, I feel pretty comfortable now. I'm going to go ahead and take attack speed. Base health is also good because, you know, the more health I got to, the more health pool I have, the regen, the more I can lose, the more my necklace will trigger. But right now, I want to get some damage out. I want to get some ghosts. These little guys are tough. They're not, they're not falling over one hit at a time. Look. What is that? Four or five hits. I do miss that burning damage. Definitely feel it not having these guys. I gotta be more targeted where burning damage or things could just go over and light everything on fire. So here's the weak regen. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get that at all because I'm gonna count hundred percent on that uh, blood soaked uh, whatever rag. So health or damage. I think at this point I'm just gonna go for raw damage. Getting that damage up is really important because these guys start swarming you. You gotta be able to knock them down. Movement speed, base health, base health, area code size does nothing for us. I could actually get rid of that completely. I hate the fact that I get rid of this and then I can't pick anything else. Does that make it worth it? I don't even know if that's worth it, but I think it's good to do it earlier than... Or either do it earlier or don't do it at all. Alright, so now I have my duration, movement speed, and base health. Um, so I'm going to go with movement speed, because I've been neglecting that. And these guys are starting to get a little... ...schwonky. Like, I think I even need to go further away. I'll move myself up on it without even trying to do it. Now, you can go auto attack on this. It's not bad. You just want to kind of position your body to where you want your ghost to go. Duration, main weapon. I'm always going to take these proficiencies over any of this other stuff. I don't know if it's this. I'm going to start recording that. Like, is it the same thing every time, or is it random what, it, what the proficiencies give you? Because they give you penalties. I just got hit by a ranged. 
Now, one thing I will do, his defenses aren't bad, but I would sacrifice 2% movement speed for extra defenses here. So my choices would be normally damage or movement speed. Probably damage at this point, but since I'm getting 4% movement speed plus, plus some defenses, I'm picking that. Defenses. I found after playing those tank classes how good defense works in this game. It's uh, very good. So I got movement speed. This That 10% isn't going to give me anything right now. Base health or movement speed. So I need more movement speed. That takes the priority. You see how he cut right over? But if you shoot this way, you have more of a chance of him cutting, uh, cutting right through them all. Just whittling the whole pack down. So, defense, defense, pick up. I'm gonna go with raw damage. Get that damage up. These guys are tough, but I need my ghosts to be able to stomp their faces. Yeah, they're starting to swarm me already. It's tough to get going on these harder ones. Yeah, you gotta get over the wall before it becomes too much for you. And that's why I don't want to take any abilities. I gotta get over that wall before it becomes too much for me. So duration or pickup range? Block strength, base defense, low priority, high priority. Mm, I think if I do one more of these, I'll be good. I think I think that should be enough pickup range, especially on this map where you don't have a huge screen all around you. Let's see what my pickup range is. Yeah, so that's that's pretty buffed. Wow. Shrine of Blessings. Oh yeah, so I got 60 and 80%. That's so I'm pretty much done with pickup range now, I think, unless it's like my only option. Actually I probably had I known I had that much, I probably wouldn't even pick that up. But yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty good. I'm picking stuff up as I'm moving around. Duration to my summons. All summons, by the way, not just my main summons. That's good. That's gonna help my skellies and my imps a little bit. And they're a fraction of the damage. Like, so let's say I do three million damage with my main weapon. They, uh, this no, I got a breakthrough here. Uh, sorry, one second. Duration. Oh, I love that I'm just healing right up. That's so nice. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I forget what I was saying. I had a breakthrough. Uh, oh, the damage on my skellies. So if, let's say I did three million, um, three million damage at the end of this, my skelly damage would be like five hundred thousand, right? So and my imps would be like four hundred fifty thousand. So that's kind of roughly the percentage. So like the two of those rings together are gonna give me another million. So three million versus one million for my little uh, rings, they help. And they also help in the beginning because they're doing damage. I'd, I'd be getting swarmed without them. So they're more to help you in the beginning than just your total damage. And it just goes with the overall build, right? So do I want duration or base health at this point? Don't want that. I, I would, would not mind picking this later if I eventually stacked up a bunch of defense. Like if a lot of those movement speed plus defenses came up, start taking these to get to 10%. But, uh, let's go with Duration. I'm not exactly sure how great Duration actually matters. Like, it helps for my little side pets, but how much does that Duration actually matter for these? Because they kind of gotta, they kind of go off the screen anyway. Like, to have enough base Duration, do you really need to pick them up? I don't know if range does anything. Increase how far melee attacks can hit or how far projectiles can fly. Are they considered projectiles, or are they considered summons, or are they both? I don't know. This game doesn't give you a lot of information. If, if I knew this 8% range was basically the equivalent of duration, meaning they can fly around longer, then yeah. And same with piercing. I don't understand what piercing does for them. It doesn't seem like there's a limit of how many things they can hit before they disappear. It seems like it's totally based on duration. So is it duration? Is it range? Is it piercing? I don't know. That's one thing I wish this game would give more information about what, what the skills are. And maybe I just don't know where to look for that. So, with that said, I don't know what I want here. None of these are good choices. I'm going to go ahead and use my fine white wine. 
Boop. Try to get a better thing. And I did. I got some attack speed, which I haven't been taking much. And that's important to this build. You want attack speed. I do have a helmet right now giving me 8%. You can see over here, 8% attack speed, 3%. So as I kill stuff, that's going to start pumping up. Eventually, when it starts getting crazy, that's going to be like 40%, 50% all the time. And as that starts pumping up, that really helps. Am I recording? Oh. Let me do a herald check. Yes, I am. Okay. So, now here, this is what's killing me. So 20% main weapon damage. I do like these because it's movement speed and defense, but I always got to go with damage. I got to get these guys down. Down, down, down. I got to start focusing on this boss, too. Here goes the bloodletting. So, 30% more damage for 10% health. Don't like it, but worth it. So to focus on bosses, like these things are random, so you just kind of want to like point, point it in the boss's direction, they'll hit it and then do whatever else. I like to try to kite the bosses or have it in a direction, so I'm hitting the most things. It's a great kite build. I don't know why people call it kiting. Ever since EverQuest, they call it when mobs chase you and you do damage to them, kiting the mob. I'm gonna have to look that up. Usually I understand the base origin of all like these terms used in games. Kite. Is it like flying a kite? That's probably what it is. That's probably the base of it that I'm thinking about. It's like flying a kite. You're, you're, you're walking backwards and the kite is on a string chasing after you. That would be interesting. Who, who thought up these weird things? I'll, I'll Google that, but that's my best guess. Final answer. Let's see if I'm right when I, if I remember after this video, I'll look it up. It's kiting called kiting because you have them on a string and they're following you like a kite. Then again, who, who flies a kite if you have to walk with it? I suppose the point of a kite is you suppose to have enough wind. Whatever. I'm gonna get too deep into that. Um. Oh, by the way, <laughs> did you see my last video? I was like doing that. <laughs> I was, ah, I was complaining about my stomach hurting. And I had just eaten Wendy's, and I was talking about like, oh man, that made my stomach hurt. And I was just saying like, a lot of fast food places make my stomach hurt anymore. Just I don't know if it's me getting old or just using horrible ingredients or. And I was just saying Chick Fil A is like. One of the places that tastes the best. It tastes the cleanest. It has. It's the most flavorful to me, and I feel great after I eat it. I don't feel like s s my stomach doesn't feel sour or whatever. Um. Anyway, as it turns out, I got a mild case of food poisoning from freaking Wendy's. I think it was the lettuce. I don't want to get too graphic about it, but I was up until five o'clock in the morning last night. Doing, doing, doing food poisoning stuff in the in the bathroom, and uh, that was harsh. And I think it was trying to. Oh, so now I gotta get away from that. I don't want that. As much as I would love to have a golem, the chance of all out of all the stuff that I have unlocked, the golem to pop up as one of my abilities, and even then the golem is gonna block some of this stuff. So let's go with duration. And we'll get away from that. We'll go up we'll go up a little north. I don't want to pick that stuff up by accident. So yeah, so what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I think it was the lettuce because it felt like my body, like everything was out of me. But it felt like my body was just flushing itself until every little bit of the lettuce that was on the uh, sandwiches came out of me. So I think they had bacteria on their lettuce or something or something. I don't know. I was bad. My stomach's still messed. I haven't eaten since. It's, you know, it's 5.20 right now the next day. So, I haven't eaten yet. And, like, I'm hungry. But when I think of food, my stomach starts hurting. Other than that, I feel fine. I had to uh, take half the day off of work because of it. 
I slept in the morning and then worked from home at the in the afternoon. It's horrible. Base health. Let's get that up. Nice little heal. Anyway, sorry if I cursed anybody out with that, but yeah, watch it. Watch eat that fast food. And Wendy's is supposed to be one of the you know fresher places, so I think I'm pretty much done with them. I don't like the way their food tastes anyway. I don't like how much carbs and just sugars are in it. Um, Uh, defense and block strength, I'm thinking. Range, base defense. Go with some bulwark. Yeah, I think I'm about done with them. Except for their nuggets. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I went there. I was out doing errands. I didn't have time to come home and cook. And my kid wanted food. And one of the things, he, one of the few fast food things he likes is Wendy's nuggets. Like, he doesn't even eat McDonald's chicken nuggets. So he'll only eat Wendy's chicken nuggets or Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. So, um... Picked up some nugs for him and grabbed me some burger. And boy, do I regret that. So I think I'm done unless it's nuggets. Range based health. More health. I am not healing as much as I would like right now, but it's definitely, I, definitely keeping me up. I need to be careful about taking damage. Because these things don't die super, super fast. This is the, like, the worst, worst boss for this. Uh, 30 attack speed. Att movement speed is important, so I'm going to take that over to the uh, attack speed. Um, just because movement speed, like fighting this boss, like see how he can almost chase it now with that movement speed. But the movement speed, I feel like, is super important for spreading that damage. And getting to, like, the boss. Look, he's, oh, if I could look, he's just sitting on him. That's perfect. I had just a little bit more movement speed. Um, I could just shoot it at him and it would just like stay on him and ride with him. See, I'm, st I'm getting, oh, there it is. There we go. So wait. I'm going to have to go back. Was the other one a sacrifice? So more bloodletting. Okay. I got to figure out these abilities and what they do. Exactly. Do they change, or is it always the same thing? I think I'm going to go get this to level up. It's starting to get hard now, and I want to get all the little jewels that I missed are outside the borders. Time to use that. Uh, this, was a, this was the one, Weapon Proficiency 3. The other one was Sacra. I'm going to definitely go back in the video. I can't even remember what the last thing I just picked was. Uh, 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 um, additional attacks would be helpful, but I think base health is definitely more helpful. Is more attacks better than defense? No, I'm going to try to stack that defense. I think more attacks, it's just, it's okay, but it would just take too much of that, and I'd rather stack defense and try to be tanky. Since I don't have any regen, or since I got my chest piece doing my regen, I need to work on some other kind of defense other than move speed. Uh, why do people always distract? Sorry, somebody just knocked on my door and distracted me. Almost getting me killed. It's like they know I'm making a video. <laughs> I tell them when I'm making a video. I go, "Hey, uh, about to make a video. Don't come knocking on my door. Come in here, causing chaos while I'm doing it. Please, I'll let you know when I'm done." And it's like every time I do that, they almost start to like knock on my door. Like, like they forget what I said to them, but they remember something about knocking on my door. So they just knock on my door. Uh, that was not a good situation. I hope I don't die. Here, base health. That's a good one anyway. That's what I would have taken, but I need it for, say, 51, 99. Just a little, little heal. Oh, I don't want that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, need more run speed. I hate this boss, is the worst boss. The little bat, I hate the bats in this map, they're the worst. Because they, they have so much run speed, they just come at you. And you gotta dodge them. Uh, 
Ugh, God, I'm using my revive already. Definitely not gonna make the... Oh, just, oh, just... I'm really messing up bad on this. I'm usually not doing this bad. Even without a cloak, I'm not. Yeah, I need more movement speed at this point. I'm way behind on my movement speed, and they can just stomp over me like that. Anyway, that's the video. Um, sorry I died so soon. A little bit was because I lacked movement speed, and a little bit was because somebody knocked on my door and distracted me and took my focus off the game. Um, so my Spectre... Oh, look at that. My Imps did more damage this time than my, uh, my Skeletons. Interesting. I, I can almost want to run that again. Well, I'm going to be running this until I find a build that can kill 10,000 of these so I can unlock the Sork. Uh, I'm going to figure something out. But I think what I need to do is maybe get some gold. I need to farm some gold up. I just kind of wanted to showcase that. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a little bit longer of a video. So that's that's tough. Let me show you what this guy's like in farm mode. We'll just make it. I make long videos anyway. Who cares? Watch it if you want to watch it. Don't if you don't. Now, I usually farm this. I've beaten both of these. Let me see something. What do I need? Caverns, arcane splinters, I'm not doing any of that. So I need to kill hellhounds for some gold. I need to kill slimes for an item, so that's something. So I, if I do that, I'll probably unlock that this run. Um, and I'm probably not going to do lightning strikes. What do I need for this? Kill imps, I'm not going to do that, but I can work towards it, and that's only gold. I'm not going to do that, it's an item. Kill 15,000 enemies in one visit. Ember Ground starting ability. Oh, they give you an ability at the start. Worthless to my build. Get Arcane Splinter to level 3. So, yeah, let me work on this one. I'll, work, I'll do this one. So, I'll do Haunted Caverns. It's the easiest one. You'll see the true power. Do a newbie newbie comparison. Same same thought process. I'm not taking this. That's the starter, by the way. I'm not taking the starter ability. I'm going to purposefully move away from it. Doing these so that I got the well right here already. Doing these little uh, easy runs is a great way to farm items. You destroy the bosses, get the items. I don't think items are locked behind any specific thing. It also, because they're so easy, they die so fast, it lets you just focus more on the offensive. So I think I'm just going to look for the blood trail, do the event, and then... Nope, oh, here's the blood trail already. Look at that. Let's go up this way. I'm just going to put it on auto attack. I'm not even going to worry about it. Just let us do its thing. Get some movement speed for my travels. Follow the blood trail. Looking for the event. Look at that, right here. Found the first event already. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. I'm like, it, it's like a hunger pain plus a sick pain at the same time. Like every time my stomach gets like a hunger twang and I'm not eating, it also feels ill. Man, I hate food poisoning. Ten percent damage. Let's go with that. Yeah, and then to top it off, my stomach was already in bad shape. I keep talking about my stomach, but what else is there to talk about during this game? Uh, what, the week before, I started feeling my stomach felt like it was burning. It just felt bad, and I couldn't figure out why. I was like, what am I eating? Is, this, is there something wrong with me? Do I got something wrong, or is it because something I'm eating? And I'm like... I, I wasn't eating out or anything, and I was eating all the normal stuff I normally eat, so I was like trying to like eliminate it, process of elimination. And um, that actually would have been a bit of good one to get rid of something. And um, I think it was the peanut M&Ms, so I had, I usually don't snack a lot. I usually don't snack a lot. 
but sometimes I do like to have a little snack, like candy, like Skittles or something like that. I try to keep my sugar intake low, but occasionally, you know, I do like to live. Um, so I had asked, like, last month, I asked my wife to buy me a pack of M&Ms while she was out. It's a boring story. All pack of M &M, peanut M&Ms. I haven't had peanut M&Ms in years. And I was like, oh, that's really good. Um, so when she was out at Costco doing her shopping, I asked her, hey, while you're out at Co Costco, pick up, you know, Costco-sized peanut M&Ms. That way I got something to snack on when I want a handful of something sweet or savory or whatever, you know what I mean? And that'll be my little thing. I think it's a little bit better than Skittles or whatever, something like pure sugar. And uh, she did that. So, great. So last week, I had a handful. Along with other stuff. Like, after my meal, I had a handful. And I felt ill. I was like, I, I didn't think it would be a pity peanut M&M's. I'm like, I just had peanut M&M's last month or whatever. So I'm like, wondering why I was feeling bad. And then I felt better. And then... I was like, let me try the M&Ms again, just to eliminate them, right? So I ate, I had a, I had a meal, and it sat well with me, and everything. My stomach felt great, and a little while afterwards, and I was like, all right. So I got a little dish at M&Ms, and I was gaming. Uh, so I snacked on them, and sure as upset stomach, <laughs> yeah, I start feeling bad again. I'm like, what the heck? Am I developing a peanut allergy? Like, what's going on? Like, I... Oh, no. I didn't even see that skill there. Busy talking about my, uh, health issues. Um, so I'm like, what the heck? So, anyway, I looked at the M&Ms, and my wife actually tried some, too. She was like, here, I'll try some, see if they make me ill. Great, right? How, how great is she for, like... Let me sacrifice myself to, as, as a test to see if that's what's causing it. She felt fine, but she only she only ate like five or six of them or something like that. You know, whereas I ate maybe I don't know what's in a small bowl, twenty of them or something. Um, so it might be that, but she said she it didn't affect her at all. So, but then I looked at the M and M's and they had like markings on them, like almost like liquid had dripped onto the M on the peanut M and M's because they're pretty big. They had like little drips. A couple of them looked like they were like stuck together at some point, which told me. That some sometime in their production process, something leaked on them, and you know I come from food. Uh, well, I shouldn't say I come from, but I've worked in the food industry, and uh, two jobs I spent many years with. So I probably have five. So I probably have twelve years in the food industry, all totaled up. Um, food production. So I'm, I'm very familiar with their processes and what can and can't go wrong and what could and couldn't leak and um, I guess that's the best one. Again, I'm not thinking too much because I'm just mindlessly going in circles. Um, so a lot of times in production you'll have leakage. That's why they use like food safe grease. So if it does leak in food safe oils, if it does leak on the food, it's not going to like really hurt anybody. But you know, things can happen in the food industry. How, how am I going to grab that without grabbing that? Bad timing. Range, defense, so none of these are good. So I'm going to take this opportunity to obliviate range. My, wow, my pickup was, was a lot shorter than I thought. Or does that, do these not go on pickup and you actually have to walk over them? Because that would be really nice. You actually have to walk on the items. And the pickup radius is only for the crystals, the XP crystals. That would actually be really nice if that's the case. I'll test that out later, not now. Actually, I'll test it out now. Yeah, look. That would have picked up. Alright, so that's nice. I like that. Very good game devs. Very good choice on that. Something simple and small like that means a lot. Duration or damage. Okay, so there's bloodletting. There's sacrifice. I'm gonna go with that. So yeah, it looks like there's some kind of liquid got on them or something. So I got, I, I stashed them aside. So a, nobody would eat them. And B, I don't know what to do with them. Is there any way to like, what's on them? What did I ingest into my stomach that made my stomach burn? 
You know what I mean? Um, is there a lab I can send these to and like say, hey, test this peanut M and M to find out what's on it, like what's in it? Anybody know? If you do, anybody in that field, let me know. I'd love to be able to like, even if it cost a few hundred dollars, like I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's thousands of dollars to do that, and it wouldn't be worth it to me. You know what I mean? Because I don't have that kind of extra cash just to find something out. But you know. It, if it was a couple hundred bucks, you know, I'd be willing to send that over to a lab and say, hey, can you analyze this for me and let me know what's, is there anything in it other than, you know, sugar and chocolate and nuts? Is there any chemicals on it or anything that, that you know, that could potentially harm me? So I got them set aside, not sure what I'm going to do with it, but yeah, that messed me up, right? So, um, I was just, I just got over that. Uh, I was good for a couple days, like my stomach was feeling better. And I got food poisoning for Wendy's. So it's like, really? Kick me when I'm down, why don't you? Is the point I'm, I guess I'm trying to make here. Maybe I'll ask AI. I'll ask Bard. There are places out there that do that kind of stuff. Like, check for contaminants in food. Like, a lab that I can hire. I know there's places out there like that for, like, ticks and stuff. Because, you know, like, my son got bit by uh, a deer tick. And, you know, there's labs out there where you can take the deer tick and send it to them. And they'll do testing. They'll, they'll break it down and test for Lyme disease, DNA, and all that stuff. And then if they find it, then you know, uh oh, need to go to the doctors and, you know, get preventative stuff done. Also, since we're talking about testing and not video games, anybody know of a good water testing lab that I can send my water to and see exactly what's in it? I would like to get it tested from my faucet, not just from what the township does when they test their water supply. Because where they test might be different than the pipes in m leading to my house and the pipes in my house. So I would like to test it at a faucet level. But the only thing I find are like these rip-off Home Depot uh, testing places. And they're just, they're, they're straight up just rip-offs. They're trying to generate leads. They're not actually providing you a service. Uh, let's go with defense. I think I got enough pickup radius. And I guess I should... Wow, I'm just utterly destroying this boss without even trying to uh, head to the south. Let's see if I get a good item. Not retrieved. No, two items I haven't retrieved yet. I don't need that because that's kind of poopy. <gasps> oh my. Plus 40% summon spawns. Plus 40% duration, plus 40% summon damage? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bring it on. I love the summoner class. Alright, that's going up in the well. Right. Well, not right now. I'm going to wear it. Oh, it pops out the max. So you can have mac more max skeletons and more... Oh, it's not just like... Summons 40% more. It, it, ooh. Oh my goodness. That's gonna help my build. That's gonna help my summon build. Where is it? So, like I said, this coming in the easy level here and just taking your dude in here and it's not hard and you can just farm. It's, it's a lot like Diablo. You don't you don't push when you're trying to farm. You do the easy stuff when you're trying to farm. Uh, block. Damage, I'll go with that, I guess. That's the I'm all about. I don't know if you guys follow me. If you're if you're if you're watching this, that's mine now, baby. If you're watching this, and this is like the first or maybe even just the tenth video of mine you watched, 
You might not know it, but I'm huge on summoners. Summoners and necromancers, mages and necromancers, like EverQuest mages, anything with pets, puppet masks, anything, anything with things I control that have AI, I'm all about it. That's what I like. That's my favorite gameplay. I don't like targeting stuff. I don't like going click, 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 click. I want to build strategy, and I want my minions to go out, and I want to try to position myself better, and, you know, I love anything with summoners or anything like that. Even, like, Final Fantasy summoners are, I love, like, in Final Fantasy, just summoning up this big dude to do some big damage or something. Um, always have. I don't know why. Just a puppet master at heart, I guess. But, um, I almost want to end this just so I can go buy them. But I don't want to because this is... This, I need to farm gold. This is part of the game. Just farming gold. And as you can see, they're still getting a little, little too tough. They're still pretty tough. Even on the first map. But I can't just stand still. Um, Terraria. Probably the best summoners in any game I've ever played. Um, if you've never played Terraria, highly recommend that game. Especially if you're watching this and having like cool little pixelated graphics like this. A, doesn't bother you, or B, you might even enjoy them. Why haven't you played Terraria yet? Because it is the best. This is literally, if I had to say what is the best game of all time, I would be hard pressed uh, of all categories, like the best game in the world ever created. Of all categories, I might have to pick Terraria. Like, that would be hard, like, how do you do that? Like, you can pick a genre. What's the best in this genre? But how would you pick the best game? Like, you got to consider all criteria. How would you, what would you, like, what would you say is the best game ever made in existence? Um, and to me, replayability is a lot of that. To me, not having to be online is a lot of that. Else, I would probably say something like EverQuest or maybe Ultima Online. Um, to where you can play with other people. But let's, let's say there were no other people in the world. There was no internet. Um, what's plus 15% projectiles? Effect applies to the standard attack type. Adds either projectiles or attacks. Adds projectiles to part of... Partial attacks and projectiles are added after a certain amount of attacks. I don't understand why that would give that to me. There's no proc. I don't understand. I'm gonna go with this. Um, I, I, I might actually pick that. It's, that's how much I like it. I think it is just a really well done, perfect game, and it has multiplayer. It has online multiplayer, if you want. I just think it's so well done, and it, it, you could tell that it was truly a labor of love. Um, oops, I probably should have picked that other one. But they have the best summoners I've seen in any game. And there's mods that actually make it even a little better. But the things I don't like about it is there's not a lot of point, there's not a lot of purpose if you use like a summon whip. Like whips are pinnacle summoners in my opinion. And Terraria picked up on that and they're like, so they made whips like the, the, um, what do I want to pick here? They made whips the summoner choice weapon, like they designed that to boost summoning damage and stuff like that with, um, with different effects, which is really nice and it's perfect. So they have a weapon of their own, and I think whips, just because Final Fantasy started that thing, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure summoners and whips went together like peanut butter and jelly since Final Fantasy. Um... But they picked up on that and continued with it, and that's that's one of the reasons why they're great. Like they just put a lot of thought and love into the game. They don't just like throw stuff together. Uh, a lot of memes in the game, you know, just everything. They even got like some Belle Daphine, is that how you pronounce her name? Memes in there. Like there's an NPC character called uh, Party Girl. And she she sells stuff like balloons and bubble makers and things like that to decorate with. Nothing for combat really. 
Um, and one of the things she sells is party girl bath water, because she was selling her bath water to people. So there's just like all just kind of, just tons, that's like one of a thousand memes that are like kind of Easter egg memes that are hidden in there. It's just beautiful. Uh, I don't need any more pick up. I guess I'm going to be super defensive here. Oh, I stopped following the blood trail. Something distracted me. Oh, the, um, I know it distracted me. I got that late on. So the reason why I was talking about Ferrari and best game of all time is just they have a good, um, just put my cursor right on my dude to help me focus on where he's at. They have a really great summoner. Who else has a good summoner? I think EverQuest pets are great. Who else? Diablo. Diablo 2 Necromancer. One of the funnest, when you can do a minion build, one of the funnest builds to just have all those minions and golems and your debuffing thing. You're, you know what I mean? You're still actively playing. You're maybe doing a little corpse explosion, debuff, but I, I prefer just to use the builds that just like debuff and then allow your minions to just destroy everything. Um, you know, that's like where you're not doing the damage, your minions are doing damage, you might do some things that help your minion to do damage. So I think Diablo has one of the best uh, summoners. They're so few and far between, it's like they just don't want to deal with it because they're hard to balance. Easily make summoners too overpowered, easily make them too underpowered. They're definitely difficult to balance perfectly. I'm gonna go get this scroll up here. Oh, there's the blood trail, by the way. So, no, nope, I'm not gonna go get that scroll. I'm just gonna. One will drop someplace. I'm gonna follow the blood trail down. Get the other piece of that. I'm not sure what that does. I think it gives you some type of proc or damage. Maybe that's why that popped up, because I got that. Because that's, I think this is an effect that applies. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out why, why I was casting so fast. Um, this, I think, gives you like some kind of effect on your damage effect on your abilities. Because, like, at the end, actually, I can just do it right now. I need run speed. Perfect. Uh, where does it show your damage? So here's my specters. Here's my neckers, my demons. Oh, I don't have the other half yet. So when I get the other half, it'll be like, it'll almost be like a burn damage effect. So I'm wondering if I even want, well, oh, I'm wondering if because I have one half of these, that's why I got that effect. I don't know. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about. I barely know what I'm talking about. Where's the blood trail? I'm gonna go get it anyway and see what happens. I lost my blood trail. Let's see. Uh, duration. I kind of feel like maybe it was to the north I lost it. I should have just re -roll rolled that one, it wasn't a great choice. There's no blood trail guy. I know it was near one of the bosses that died. Oh, there it is. This I know is near one of those abilities. Yeah, I'm just taking damage, but look, they're they're dying so fast. Look at my look how fast I'm healing. I'm just taking that damage, but I'm just getting it all back. Not gonna help on the end boss though. Let's go with damage. Don't wanna lose that trail. 
Oh, or in the middle. Okay, so that's the middle. I like listening to this. Blood led us into the darkness, where two morbid shrines awaited. Each of them demanded a sacrifice in exchange for a fragment of a powerful token. The token of pain, which betrayed its old master and would yield us the power to finally end his atrocious reign. So that makes me think it does something with the boss or something, right? But the... Uh, the master of pain or lord of pain or something. But, I don't know. Let's follow this down. I like the German accent when they're speaking. You can hear it. it sounds like, uh, sounds a little bit like Arnold. Get to the chopper. Do it now. What was that one that cracked me up? Um, it was probably in the early 2000s. These guys just do prank calls. <laughs> they did one. They did one with Arnold's Pizza Shop. <laughs> it's like. What do you want on your pizza? How about pepperoni and 9mm bullets? <laughs> this was, I was in tears listening to that. He was like, you could take this pizza or I'll punch it through your face. <laughs> uh, I'm ruining it, uh, but it's hysterical. Uh, if, anybody, if anybody remembers that, like, uh, let me know in the comments. That was... <laughs> yeah, that was the funniest... Funniest phone prank ever. Arnold's Pizza Shop. I, mean, I could probably Google it and listen to it on YouTube. Um, hell. Right, I need to start focusing this dude. I'm gonna shoot my little ghost at him specifically instead of auto targeting. This is why getting run speed, you can't neglect your run speed, is one thing I'm learning on all characters. You just take so much damage if you can't, if you're not fast enough to kind of dodge in between these little paths and nooks and crannies. Let's see if I got a good item. Watch me get an even better item than Summoner. Nope, I have all these. I have all of them. <laughs> So happy with that item I found, by the way. That's awesome because I'm I'm loving building this, and then I found I found my blood-soaked shirt, which really just helps this class. Oh, you know what? Get the mind of a goldfish. I was supposed to be following the blood trail, and I completely lost it again. I'm just like going whatever direction I want. Is my defense. It should be getting up there because I keep getting these defense only choices. It's actually not bad. 40% damage reduction from a base of 5. I mean, I got 12 from Thick Hind, 6 from my Shride, Shrine, and then you get 30% on top of that because I've taken Bulwark so many times. I can't believe I lost that Blood Trail again. See, I can just kind of bump into them every once in a while. Those little hits don't hurt because I got a bit of defense and I got this shirt that's just healing the heck out of me. Much better than any regen I've ever had on any character. It just really, really puts this class together. It takes its weaknesses and covers it and then you can let you focus on making your uh, ability really strong. Again, I'm not taking any abilities over here until I level these up. Towards the end, I'll go around and collect them all up. I don't want their ch options interfering with my base options. It's hard enough getting a good base option as it is. So I gotta choose health regen. I might take block strength. I guess I could take... Mm, yeah, so I'm already getting that from Bulwark. So that's already doing nice for me too. Block is really good for lower maps, I think. I'm not convinced on how good it is for harder maps where they're hitting you harder. Because block... Ooh, here's a nice little buff over here. That one gives you, what, more damage? 100% damage. Got 
I feel like even with 100% damage, I'm getting my butt kicked. Darn. I can't believe I completely missed that blood trip. Why is it, is, is everything ran out? Why is it not giving me anything good? Just give me all the crap stuff. Did I max all my other ones out already? Oh, there's the blood trail. Okay. I gotta follow it all the way from the midpoint again. Oh, it went up. I don't remember going up. Did I just... I think I... I'll have to go back and look at the video. I think I might not even have, like, followed it at all. I just started going south or something. I need to grab one of them things. I'm missing so much experience. One thing these specters aren't good at. Ooh, look at that dodge, boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, got there. Got hit there. One thing these specters are not good at is, uh getting XP because they're all they're, they're killing stuff completely far away from me a lot of times. Alright, I need to focus fire this out to where I'm running to clear the path. I just lost the trail because I was focusing on trying to my eyes were focusing on trying to find the optimal path through the monster so I don't get hit. And I just completely stopped following the trail. So here's good ones. Here are good ones. And I'm actually gonna save this one and take that one. That way, if I get a crappy pick, I get to save it. Does this say? Did it say save until the next time? Oh, there's a the trail. Did it say save until the next time? I gotta look. I don't know if that it'll just save it forever until you pick it, or just until the next one. If it's forever, that's nice because you can just keep use it as a backup when you don't have anything good. Where did the trail go? Clear the path. There it is. I found it. So I'm going to take this because it's better. Let's see if that's there next time. And I don't understand why it gave me piercing. Why it considers piercing good for some ability. So now I got the whole thing, right? So now watch. Burn damage. Demonic bond. Bur so demonic bond is what it is. And it's doing... A, uh, wait, no. That's my imps. So burn damage. Is what it's considered? That doesn't sound right. Maybe it's only damage on the boss or something. What the heck? I don't even understand how I'm not taking more damage. So I got no good choices. Oh, so it is here. So stay here forever until I have an absolute horrible choice. So I'm going to go ahead and take duration. I'll just keep that there as my backup. But look at look how much I'm healing. Like even though they're I'm, like I'd totally be dead right now without. Let me kill. Let me kill this dude. I do not like projectiles hitting me. Guys. Pick up range, block, area coon size. Perfect time to take that. Stay away from me, ability. So I was actually thinking before when I didn't want to collect them that I wouldn't take high pickup radius because I didn't want to accidentally pick them up. But now that I know that they don't get picked up with pickup radius, that you have to actually touch them to pick them up. That makes pickup radius even better because it keeps you at a safe distance. Let me go grab this scroll over here. That way I can get all these crystals that I'm missing. Again, well done on that, devs. Not that you're watching my video. Area coon size, additional attacks, block strength, get some more defense. Where did that scroll go? Oh, down here? Did I pass it? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I put an eye. So I think I'd, I think I'd even rather have one weak regen than additional attacks. And, but isn't that like 10% damage? Yeah, let's go additional attacks. This is like every 10 hits another ghost, so it's like 10% damage. And it looks like I'm running out of stuff to get anyway.
I literally am running out of stuff to get. So now's the time. Now's the time where I want to uh, go get abilities. Because I'm out of all the base abilities. There's only three choices now. And it did feel like I was running out. So let me go grab one of these real quick before I level up too much more. Oh no, what? Oh, attack speed? I still have attack speed to get. So I don't understand that. Look at all these fives that I got. Where it only gave me three choices last time? That means that it doesn't always fill four choices. That means it has to roll that. That's weird. So no, I'm not going to get that ability now. Good thing that happened. I would grab one of them abilities thinking. So that's weird. I don't understand how that works. That I need information on. Why did it only give me three choices? And not four choices? Why did it not give me attack speed as a choice last time? Making me think that, oh, everything must be picked out. I can go get whatever I want. I might need some more pickup radius, though. Is it... You have to be... Oh, maybe you have to be over 50. Look. I just hit 50, and it gave me 5. Maybe you... Maybe the ranks... Maybe the ranks... I wish they were all in order. Not in order that I pick like one, two, three, like each one had a, like this was one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, you know, you could see, I wish it went this way. Like this was all quick hand, this was all proficient stance, and you could see where you were at, instead of it just being a big jumbled mess of everything. So this, devs, if you're watching my video, organize this. I don't care about the order that I picked it up in, or give us an option. I want to see what rank... I'm at what ranks I have left without having to be like, uh, so, so, so I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. You can get this and you can't get two until you're level 10. And then you can get, when you're level 10, you can get two, right? And then when you're level, uh, 20, you can get three, right? And then when you're level 40, you can get four. Uh, wait, three, 20, four, 30. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Because at 5, you would have to be 40. So what would 50 have to do with anything? Okay, well, that was a thought. That's why you got to think things through sometimes. So that wouldn't, that wouldn't figure, factor out. I still want to figure out why that happened. And I just got this on auto-aim, by the way. I'm not even thinking about any of that. Uh, duration 5. But everything's showing. It's giving me all the 5s now as soon as I hit 50. Maybe there is something about that. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm going to get something to eat after this. Uh, hopefully my stomach can handle it, but I'm hungry. I need to eat. Vulnerability! 100% damage! Where do those things come from, by the way? Do they just have a chance of dropping off monsters you kill? The little buffs? And there's a boss. Ah, uh, he's the summoner boss. Summoner versus summoner. Just target you. how movement speed helps with avoiding damage. So that's the thing that transformed fire. So I, I retrieved and owned all those. 
they should give you gold. Like you should be able to sell the duplicates at the end of the dungeon or something. They give you like gold bonus for finding them. All right, let me go get this scroll to pick up all the stuff that I'm missing. Run speed dodge, baby. Boop 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 boop. Fast, fast can be. Can't catch me. Boop. You're hitting hard. So that's the thing. I'm only doing 147 of these guys, but I do 147 to a lot of guys. Or yes, it's like. Boop, 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 boop. I wonder if these have a radius or does it actually pull from the whole map. Destroyer of skeletons. Take some damage. Two, one forty-seven. I think this is almost the best way, just running in a straight line like this, because you're collecting everything. Versus standing still with the summoner, everything just goes everywhere. Charge! Clear the path! Clear the path! It's <laughs> fun. Pick up range? Sure. Let's get the ball up. Clear the path! Clear the way! My master is coming through! Oop, the shield guys hit me. They're a little tough. Can't kill them, but they Master is coming through. It's like plowing them down. <laughs> this is fun. This is a fun way to play. Never did this with a character before. There we go. That looks like it's straight in front of me. Doing it this way, I'm at least collecting it. At least I'm collecting the gems that I kill, so there's not a whole bunch being left everywhere. I was just like kind of standing still. Uh -oh, I'm probably not gonna be able to do this with the slimes. Yeah, because they're too tough. I think I'm running out of stuff. I think now's the time where I should actually go get some of those abilities down there. I'm gonna head down there. Clear the path. Coming through. I think what little bit of damage I take from the slimes, I'll just heal. That's it. A little bit of a deficit still with damage. Yeah, below 500. 
Uh, I don't want to mess around too much because the boss, the boss will be coming, and then I'll, I don't, I won't have regen, so I want to be full health when the boss comes. Not that I think will be much of a problem for this build, but let me uh, at least try to do some avoidance here. I'm going to just grab these abilities because now I can just. Not that I'm going to be leveling much, but at least I'll have some abilities. Probably should do this earlier. Now I'm just taking metabolism. Which actually I kind of need. Maybe I should just pump a bunch of metabolisms. So I have some regen for the boss. Because that, that blood stain coat or whatever, that's not going to have any regen whatsoever. For the boss. So 157 is max damage on these things. So some other classes definitely have some. Uh, oh, 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 what's going on? Why I take so much damage? This is getting too much for me. Oh, I, there was a golem and I didn't take it. I'm an idiot. Oh man, what, they're just really tearing me up and making me really low before the boss. That is not what I wanted. See, just messed around. I was full health. Now I'm dying because I just wanted to like plow through them, and now they got real hard. Still taking the regen even though I got ability. I need to get that level thing. Oh my gosh. 30 seconds to go to the boss. I'm in a bad spot though. There's the boss. What did that just do? Did you see that? That just did something. Oh, I, I could put the wine bottle since I didn't do a thing. I wonder if I can get to this, the, the uh, thing before I kill the boss. What is that? Summon skeletons, scars of toil item. That's my thing. Hmm. What was that? This thing exploded. Or was that him? Let me get down here and get the item collector. Ah, oh, he's gonna die too easy. Wait, why is he already- Oh! It hurt him. It gave him half health. Oh! That's- I've seen that before. I was like, why- why did I just do massive DPS to him? So it starts him off as half, half health. Or down this collector thing. And yeah, the well's off my board. Did I put something? I didn't put Oh yeah, I put the thing up in the well anyway. I forgot about that. I forgot I found the summon item. I'm gonna get these abilities, which I should have already got. Now he's gonna destroy me. Okay, oh, here comes the rest of the crystals from far away, I guess. Finally caught up. Stop it! Stop cheating! Bad blow. This is where some like run speed boots or something would come in handy. I think I'm gonna have to grab some of them. Because I know I want more run speed than the game gives me. Oh really? A boss comes out?
it's always nice when you find a revive ring in here that you don't plan on sending up because you can hold on to it till like a moment like this. Like I pop my imp ring off or my skeleton ring off and put the revive ring on so I have one more revive. Still tough, even though this build is really powerful. It's still tough just because I got crappy regen. Now I think he's dead. I'm going to be able to just farm him. Oh, did you see it? It did, it did damage to him. The crystal just exploded. Took him. So that's what the crystal does. Figured it out. That crystal up there is for fighting a boss. It takes away half his health in both of his forms. Oh, I got to watch that. Those things will hurt me. But I can't fight him from a distance, apparently. Oh, until he flips around. Comes from the other side. I guess I should keep him on the edge of my screen. So he doesn't do that. Uh, lightning Strike would probably be good because it's always going to hit him. Guaranteed damage on him. I like that. I wish my summoner had that. Then it'd be like like a Diablo. They stole that from Diablo, by the way. Oh, nice. I'm outside of his cone radius. I wonder if my things are hitting him. What is hitting me? Nice kite. Where does, this, where does this kite come from again? Kite string. Is this my kite string? Let's go with Dragon's Breath. So, so we'll go in the direction I'm facing, which it should always be at him with auto aim on. Uh, random towards a random enemy, so that will always go towards him since he's the only enemy. And I'll just get this last scroll. Yeah, this is this is definitely a win. He's not doing anything to me, and I just I'm just kiting him. Did I get the scroll? So all I gotta do is just keep doing that. And he'll be dead in a minute. And then it's end video time and go get something to eat because I'm starving. This is going to be a long video by the way. If you made it all the way to the end, let me know in a comment. Let me just say like I watched the whole thing bro. Just let me know. There it is. Not that it's anything big. Total damage dealt. I got no records or anything, but I did make uh, 4,000 gold. Let's look at my DPS. So 4,800,000 damage caused by my Spectre. <coughs> and then my Skeleton Ring was 841k. My Imp Ring was 948. So that's... Okay, so the Imps actually did more damage in this one. They did less than the other one. So maybe the imps hit better when they're weaker mobs, and the skeletons hit better when they're not. And a lightning strike out of those little ones, what else did I get? Oh, so here's this thing. Token of Pain. So it did, uh... 6,000 damage. What? Over 30 seconds. I don't understand how that... Over 30 seconds, so... How did it... If it hit, boom. Oh, that's DPS, because... It would have hit for half of this because it hit twice, so it would hit for 150 and 7.5. So 157.5 damage. That would have been half his life. So we know what his total life is now. And if you divide that over 30 seconds, it's probably 6,000. So that's what that is. Who could have pain? So let's see. My golem did a little bit. Dragon's Breath a little bit. Uh, that's pretty much in the order I got them in. Uh. Alright, very interesting run. Let's return. 
Uh, let me see if I can buy. Hopefully it doesn't cost more than $5,000. i am going to buy them gloves, and they're going to be my gloves, baby. Invoker's Grass. Look at that. Wicked. Wicked. I have to respect that. That's fine. I only need a little bit of money. Pull it out of my bank. Oh, yeah. Changing my build. Bye-bye 20 attack speed gloves. Hello. That's my new build. Let me swap over to that. Nope, nope, nope. You know what? That sparking tip, that's going bye-bye too, because that's just too good. So that's even going to go in my fire build. But let's do that. So I'm going to just, I guess that's it. I'm going to farm. I'm going to farm with the Warlock just because I love that play style. But um, maybe I'll go, once I'm done playing this, maybe I'll do like a class thing, give my thoughts and opinions. I got to play this guy more. I got to play this guy more. I've played him pretty well. I've played him pretty well. I've played him a few times. I gotta go the archer, some more shots, the priest, or the cleric, and then the new sword class. And once I get them all done, I'll do a video on how I feel about all of them. What I what I think. But I just love any summon. Summon's not necessarily the best. It actually has a lot of weaknesses. But it's just what I really dig. I love that in a game. We'll see what the sword's like, too. I'm really interested. That's a hard unlock. Killing all of them in one shot in the toughest map that's gonna be that's gonna be a challenge all right appreciate you watching like subscribe all that good stuff and if you're still here listening all the way through let me know let me know in the comments seriously man I, I'd, I'd appreciate knowing that somebody just watched the whole thing with me i'll see you in the next video